quick tips. Just a reminder, folks, that we are now entering into the world of compressed air products, and we're super excited to tell you about our new partnership with LG. Today, we actually have Gray Biggins, who's going to give you a few quick tips on what to look for as far as maintaining and properly operating your air compressor. Thanks, Jay. I'm going to do a little walk around on this EG compressor. We'll talk about some things you should look for when you're walking around your lubricated screw. So first, the controller normally has an operating temperature that the compressor is running at. You want to see it run between 180 and 200. So below 180, you're going to be building too much water. Over 200, you're going to be degrading the oil too quickly. Remove one of the service panels. You want to make sure there's no leaks, which would be collecting on the base, either water or oil. Um, you want to check your oil level on your oil sight gauge or uh, level indicator here. And then make sure that any of your oil filters, you'll have a maintenance schedule. Make sure uh, that you have all of your um, intervals are in line and uh, that you're servicing it accordingly. If your condensate drain is not plumbed into an oil water separator, make sure you have that addressed as well. Any, if any of these things seem amiss, make sure you get in contact with the Collins Company so they can get you straight. That's it for us today, guys, on Collins Quick Tips. Thanks for tuning in, and thank you to Gray from LG for joining us. Remember, think of Collins for all of your compressed air needs. Uh, specifically, if you have any concerns about the functionality or performance of your existing unit, call Collins for a complimentary system assessment. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.